and uh, we're here with uh, Father Chris Decker from Catholic Underground. CatholicUnderground.com, that's right. So tell me what's going on, what is it? Well, Catholic Underground is a podcast primarily about uh, the connection between our Catholic faith and new media. So uh, the video that that, uh, that your viewers are watching now, which is probably on a website somewhere, uh, or, or new forms of audio like podcasting, or even uh, people who are Catholic like yourself who are using these forms of new media, we cover on our podcast. And so we'll talk about ways that people are using new media to spread the gospel message, but we also talk about things like apologetics and things that come up liturgical stuff uh, that, that our listeners are interested in. And it's kind of a panel type show. Uh, myself, uh, a priest of the Diocese of Baton Rouge, as a priest from Alexandria Diocese in Louisiana, and uh, a layperson from uh, the Diocese of Lafayette in Louisiana, and we all just kind of get together. We have similar interests in technology and our faith, and we just we talk for about half an hour or 45 minutes every week, and, uh, and we answer uh, viewer mail, things like that, or listener mail. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much what Catholic Underground is. Uh, that's great. Yeah. And, and doing this, and I said you go 30, 30, 45 minutes a day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, a week. A week. A week. A day um, would, would, would... I would never get any ministry done. <laughs> So here you are, you're an active priest, you yes. do this, uh-huh. um, what do you think is the impact of what you're doing? Well, I found that the, the, the impact for, for me personally is uh, it keeps me engaged, certainly in um, kind of the, the old cliche, in the world, not of the world. Oh, it yeah. keeps me engaged in how important it is that we do use uh, the forms of media that we have as actual transmission lines mm-hmm. for the gospel message. So for me, it's kind of a reminder that I've got any number of ways that Jesus has gospel can be spread but for our for our listeners uh, we have had people as far away as uh, a rainforest in Alaska as strange no, as that sounds in a person who lives at a rainforest in Alaska says oh. that she's the only Catholic for like 200 miles wow. and so we keep her company and one of the other things that, uh, that that is really endearing is that people will listen to us on their commutes ah, and having commuted okay. through Washington DC yes yeah, you yeah. could probably listen to four or five Catholic underground episodes <laughs> but uh, but so but so really Really, the idea that, that started Catholic Underground off was um, we were sitting around uh, these, these, this priest friend of mine, uh, we were friends in seminary, and another friend of mine is a layperson. Uh, we were just sitting around talking about faith and technology. We were saying, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't it be cool if uh, people could just kind of eavesdrop in our conversation? And so that's what essentially they do every week. And so, uh, you know, in the shower, um, in the car, uh, at the kitchen table, doing homework, they, they kind of eavesdrop in our conversation. So there's this neat little interplay uh-huh. that, that comes across where people talk about, well, this is what's happening in my life. This is how I'm using media. And uh, this is what it means for me to be a Catholic uh, who is who is living in 2008. Let me tell you. Let me ask you something. My experience um, now, technology. I'm almost 50. Mm-hmm. So as much as I used to know technology, it's getting out. Okay. <laughs> me but, too. Actually, at 26, it's already escaping me. So. Really? Yeah. Well, one of the things I wanted to say is I, I discovered that when I was first ordained, you dealt with this whole issue of. Well, we haven't needed a computer for 2,000 years. Why do we need one now? Do you right. deal with that today? Yeah, I think we still do deal with that. Uh, for example, those who are doing the, the baptismal certificates on a typewriter, Yeah. well, why do we want to feed it through an inkjet printer? Because the typewriter works just fine. Um, and and t- to some degree, I mean, there's some truth to that. There's some ease and comfort. But really, um, getting involved in new media does involve pushing the envelope. Because anytime you're, you're sitting in front of a console or even a, a listening device that you've never experienced before. I mean, if you look at the iPod revolution, you know that people took a while to, to kind of get used to what that click wheel was and how they synchronize music and things like that. So, I, yeah, there is that. Um, I mean, when people hear who we are and what we do, um, now I ask, do you know what a podcast is? Because you can't quite assume it. You can almost get to that point, but not just yet. And so there, there is still that kind of old school, we've done it this way, you know, the, the other cliche, we are the Catholic Church, we think in centuries. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but that doesn't mean that we still uh, shouldn't be cutting edge in the way that we transmit, because our Protestant brothers and sisters are, are making huge headway mm-hmm. in the United States uh, in doing that. And, and oftentimes at the, at, the, um, at the detriment of not preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, but instead some other gospel. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's just the unfortunate truth. And so if we are, as Catholics, are not using media for, um, for the building up of the kingdom of God authentically as, as, um, as guardians of the fullness of truth, mm-hmm. then we need to get off the typewriter, mm-hmm. you know. 
uh, so to speak. So, so there, there is some of that, but it's still, it's an important, um, it's an important battle to fight, I think. Well, I really appreciate you stopping yes, by. Yes, indeed, Father Bob. Thank you. Very Thank nice you meeting very you. Uh, have kind a good of our, our table mate. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. And, uh, and have a good trip back to... Uh, Thank you very much to, to Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yes, indeed. And blessings in your ministry as well. In, uh, in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts. Yeah. My goodness. Well, if I ever get up that way, I'll have to visit you. Please do. Absolutely. All right. And I'll have to listen. Please oh, do. Oh, uh, um, website? The plug. CatholicUnderground.com. There you go. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Take care.